Hello, everyone. Today, we're at Marchant Chevrolet taking a look at the 2016 Chevy Colorado. It's a mid-sized truck with a lot to offer. So stay with us for the next few minutes. We're going to be taking a look at this vehicle from inside to outside and show you the pricing structure at Marchant Chevrolet and why they're one of the best Chevrolet dealerships to purchase from here in the Carolinas. So stay with us. The Chevy Colorado, one of the best looking mid-sized trucks in the market right now today for 2016. Now we're going to show you inside and out on this vehicle and do a little bit of an in-depth walk around for you. So if you don't know a whole lot about the Chevy Colorado, you're going to learn something today. So let's take a look. we got two of them right here to compare with and one is a full four-door in size, which is the white one over there, and this one has an extended cab. Let's go ahead and take a look. Both of these trucks look pretty much the same except for the extra four-door in size on the white one over there, but they do have different options and things like that. Now, one thing I do like about this Colorado is the front end on the truck. Take a look at it. Really nice, streamlined very well for the aerodynamics of the vehicle so it can get a really good fuel economy while traveling but also a very gorgeous front end on the truck. Very smooth body lines, headlights look great, all the way to that gold Chevy bow tie. So what a beautiful truck. March of Chevrolet keeps a nice amount of these trucks on ground for you, so you can always pick a different color if you'd like. So we have more to offer than just these two. Now go ahead and take a look at the truck. Let's look at the alloy wheels on the, on the vehicle. Good looking wheels, you got a 17 inch alloy wheel with a 255-65 series tire and those are BF Goodrich Wrangler tires. So good looking tire and good looking rim. It's a six lug by the way. The sides of the truck, very nice, I'm loving that color. Let's take a look at the Moroni label for just a moment. One thing people love about this truck is the fuel economy. 27 on the highway, 20 in the city for an average combined at 22 miles per gallon. I love how they give you the price right there, annual fuel cost of $2,050. It says you spend around $1,250 in fuel costs over five years. That's really good. Also, five out of 10 on your fuel economy and gas greenhouse ratings, and six out of 10 on smog rating. Safety ratings are always great on Chevrolet and GM products, and as you can see right there, you got plenty of stars to go down with. The Moroni label is a great place to look at when you're purchasing a vehicle. It gives you all the options of the vehicle, standard options and extra options that are on the car. This one priced out at just around $26,530 with a couple little extra options there. This particular vehicle is two-wheel drive LT extended cab. It's cyber gray metallic, jet black interior with a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine to give you that good fuel economy. Now what Marchant Chevrolet does, it's different than any Chevrolet dealership around here that I know of, is they give you a breakdown of what what's not on the vehicle and what they're not charging you extra for, like closing fees and dog fees. None of that stuff extra on the car. All vehicles at March at Chevy, $98 over factory invoice. If there's any incentive or rebates, you get that as well. So it's a good pricing structure with March at Chevrolet, just 15 minutes south down Savannah Highway in Ravenel, South Carolina. Now this is a truck and it really is a truck. It's mid-size but it sits up off the ground at a nice height as you can see right there. I love on the back bumper here, you got a nice little step right there to get back into the truck to get your tools out, whatever you need to get done. You got LT right there. You can also add a towing package on the back of the truck if you need to, and we can do that here at March and Chevrolet as well. Now this particular truck does have a backup camera, and I like how it's nice and flush right here with your handle, so it makes it easy and you're not very noticeable on a big camera on the back of the car. And you can't beat that good looking Chevy bow tie. Now one thing that's also nice is when you pull this down, not a real hard slam. You can also add in a bed liner into the truck or a spray in rhino line and things like that. We don't add a lot of those things onto the truck here at the dealership because we don't want to raise the price of the car. You may not want that in the truck, so we don't add it on until you say go for it. Plenty of room in the back as well, that's for sure. Now you've seen the exterior of the truck. Now there is another version of it in a four-door size, so you get a little bit more room on the interior, but a little but your but your bed in the back is a little bit shorter. So that's the only difference. If you want a little more room on the truck on the inside, go with this version. If you want a little more room in the back of the bed, go with that version of the truck. Let's take a look. Now here's your key. It does come with a key fob right there. Go ahead and open your door. This particular truck does have, it's an LT now, it does have power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. You got cup holders right here in your door handles, a power seat. This one does have cloth interior, which still looks really nice. 
You can get it with a different package on it with leather if you'd like on the Colorado. So leather interior is an extra option there for you. But even with the cloth interior, let's go ahead and sit in and take a look around. The fit and finish is super nice. I mean, you're getting a leather wrapped steering wheel right here. You got your cruise control on the left hand side, Bluetooth cell phone system, and your controls for your multi information display screen. Now let's go ahead and put the key in the ignition for a moment and crank this bad boy up. As soon as you put the key in, the car comes alive. I love the big display screen right there for you. You got different apps on there like Pandora Radio, Settings, Audio, Phone, Projection, OnStar, Navigation, Text. I mean, they're keeping safety in mind when you own a truck. Connected by OnStar's high speed There you go. Wow. Again, touch screen as well. You also have another nice information display screen right there in the middle. So you, when you're driving, you can still kind of keep your eyes on the road and see exactly what's going on right down in that area. But the fit and finish on the Colorado is really extremely nice. As you can see with the dash, you got your handles there on the A pillars. Right up top here, you got a sunglass holder for your Maui Gems or Ray-Bans or Oakleys. You do get lights in the mirrors. Really nice feature there. And you do have them probably on the passenger side as well. You sure do. OnStar is located right here. And again, they do have a button right in here on your navigation display screen as well. Now moving down from this section, you have your climate control for your AC. And then you can add a little more technology into the vehicle. You got a USB and auxiliary port right there. So you can plug in that smartphone device and another 12 volt power outlet. It is an automatic transmission, deep size cup holders, and more storage here. And then on your armrest, even more storage there and another USB outlet. So plenty of technology areas inside the Chevy Colorado. Not bad at all. And I'm being around six foot one in height and got plenty of headroom up top. My head's nowhere even near the ceiling. So we're about three inches down from the ceiling. So a great interior and size. Now let's go ahead and look at the back because we know this is an extended cab and we want to see back there. Now here, like all extended cabs, is really nice. You got a nice handle right there. You can open that right on in the back and you do have seats back here. Not a ton of space in the extended cab, but that's understandable considering it's an extended cab truck. But you do got some smaller seats. You can fold them down as well. And you even got cup holders back there. And look at this. More technology with two USBs and another 12 volt. So even people sitting in the back can plug their devices in and get on the road and get the job done. But plenty of opening space there to get in and out when you're in the move. Not bad at all. One thing I love about Chevy is their fit and finish. Now taking a look at this truck, let's go ahead and look at this one over here. Again, four door and sides, opens right up. So again, you're getting more room with the extra four door, but again, you're sacrificing a little bit of space back there in your trunk. Full seats in the back. Cup holders in the rear armrest. You still get your technology spots right there for charging and all that good stuff. But plenty of leg room in the back of the full four door and plenty of headroom as well. The dash and everything is just about the same as the other truck we just looked at. So not a whole lot of differences there. Let's take a look at the back of this truck. Now one thing I do like that stands out is you got a back window that does roll down. You can throw that puppy dog a bone every once in a while. Throw the dog in the back. How about it? Plenty of space. Sits up about the same height as the other truck right over there. White in color looks really nice on the Colorado. That's definitely for sure. Now, like we mentioned earlier, before we go, the pricing structure at Marchant Chevrolet. $98 over factory invoice on all new vehicles. If there's any incentive or rebate money, you get that as well. No extra add-ons to the car and no dealer admin fees and no dock fees of any kind. We thank you for watching this video with us today. Come on out to March and Chevrolet in Ravenel, South Carolina, just 15 minutes south down Savannah Highway past the Citadel Mall in Charleston. Not a very far drive to go to buy a vehicle that you've been dreaming of. We'll see you soon from March and Chevy. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment and let us know what you think. We'll see you then.